Hi gang, Mark here, wanting to share with you one of the best systems out there that I have been pitching and sharing for the last year that has incredible success. So this is one of the videos that I wanted to share with you on utilizing and leveraging cloud CMA. So for all of you, you might want to get together and uh, open up your cloud CMA account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to post this to Facebook. Sounds really simple. It is, but I do get a lot of calls on it. So this is going to be a simple but brief video on how to post to Facebook. So as you know, let's talk about CMA, the big mama jamma report, the buyer tour. Every time you take a buyer out, plug in where you're going, create the buyer report. And then this one, which we use all the time, is the property report. Every single time, team, that you create a CMA, a buyer tour, or property, you need to put it on Facebook. Remember, it's not about the people that you know that counts. It's about the people that know of you. And if, if you know that every North American Facebook user has 300 friends, then by po you posting out there, those 300 people are going to see it, and then the 300, 300 people will see it too. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Really, really simple. So let's pick up this web lead one here. I'm simply going to share it. You can do the PDF link here that is for life. It always stays with you. This is your report. You can do the full one. You can post it to a Google shortener. I'll show you how to do that. And then you can track it yourself, how many clicks come through. Or you can simply use the shortened one here. So I'm simply going to control C or on a Mac, command C, copy it. I'm going to open up my Facebook posts here. You simply drop this in here. You can have a property report. We're going to probably want to say something like, see what I just made for the Smiths. Anyone else want one of these to see how your home is valuing these days okay and obviously I'm not going to post this but you click post for some of you who don't know you can actually schedule posts you can even save it as a draft rush off to your next presentation come back and repost it um, but that's simply how you do it so when it posts people can click on it and what they're basically going to see is when they click on this link they're going to see this there you go and this is the action that we want the seller to get. Oh my word, the property is doing really well. Okay, so with that being said, one last thing to show you is the Google shortener. So what you're going to type in is HTTPS goo.gl and assuming that you're logged into your Google account, you will um, put in the actual long URL here I'm not a robot danger Will Robinson danger hit shorten okay, it knows that I'm on a Mac so it's going to tell me command C or in your case control C to copy and then we would use that and that would tell us exactly because it's attached to our account exactly how many people have clicked on it because when you go into your account you'll be able to see how many people have actually clicked on this report when you open up your account so I want to thank you guys for watching really appreciate it let's leverage cloud CMA as much as possible Let's uh, work through using it as a listing tool, as a way to get listings, as a way to start a new farm in an area that you don't have. If you currently have listings, let me know. We'll print a bunch off for you and you can go out and farm the community and start driving traffic in. Think of Cloud CMA as your just listed, just sold marketing tool as well. But let's reach out, let's stay in touch with leveraging Cloud CMA because it is incredibly powerful. Thanks. Call me if you need me.